I know it's not easy for an audience to give a standing ovation. There's always a few people that don't really want to do it. I've seen those people, you know, they're always like, are we doing this now? So anyway, I'm thrilled to be back here in New York. I love how certain things about New York never change. They're always constant, they're always there for you. The cabbies and the B.O. <laughs> what is with the B.O. and these guys? How long are these shifts? <laughs> Can't we get this man a 10 minute break for a shower? <laughs> You're in the back, it's coming through the glass. You're just going, what, what in the world? And then I love when they put that cherry poppet stuff on the dashboard. So you get the cherry B.O. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Even fruit showers more often than this. The funny thing to me about being in these cabs is that when you're in Manhattan, for some reason, you don't get scared no matter how fast the guy goes. Well, you know, he's driving fast and recklessly, but well, he's a professional. He's got a cab driver's license. I can see it right there. I don't even know what it takes to get a cab driver's license. I think all you need is a face. <laughs> this seems to be their big qualification. No blank heads are allowed driving cabs in this town. Also helps to have a name with like eight consonants in a row. You ever see some of the letters in these names? What is the O with the line through it, by the way? What planet is that from? You need a chart of the elements if you want to report the guy. Yes, officer, his name was Amal, and then the symbol for boron. No, it was not manganese. I had the periodic chart with me at the time. But I love to travel. I love it whether it's a car or it's a plane. I like to get out there. I like to keep it moving. I love airports. Feel safe in airports, thanks to the high caliber individuals we have working at X-Ray Security. <laughs> How about this crack squad of savvy, motivated personnel? <laughs> the way you want to set up your airport security is you want the short, heavyset woman at the front with the skin tight uniform. <laughs> That's your first line of defense. You want those pants so tight, the flap in front of the zipper has pulled itself open. You can see the metal tangs hanging on for dear life. Then you put the bag on the conveyor belt, goes through the little luggage car wash. Then you have that other genius down at the other end looking in the little x-ray TV screen. This Einstein has chosen to stand in front of x-rays 14 hours a day as his profession looking in that thing. I, I have looked in that TV screen. I cannot make out one object. He's standing there. What is that, a hair dryer with a scope on it? That looks okay. Keep it moving. Some sort of bowling ball candle. Yeah, I got no problem with that. Just, you know, we don't want to hold up the line. <laughs> 